let us look to the Lord in prayer. Gracious Lord, we thank you for one more opportunity to come to your living presence, to thank you, to praise you, to adore you, to meditate on your word and to pray together. Bless us as we spend time together. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Shall we have an opening hymn? The scripture lesson for today is the familiar psalm, Psalm 23. Today's psalm is taken from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let's pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of a heart be acceptable unto thee, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Friends, today we specially focus on the ministry of the laity. As we know, there are several ministries as part of the life of the church the ministry of the episcopate, the ministry of the elders, the ministry of pastors, and as important, if not more, the ministry of the laity. For a short reflection on the ministry of the laity in the life of the church, I thought it would be good to look at Psalm 23 afresh. David was a lay person who went through various experiences in life for better and for worse. But through all those situations, he cling on to God. And as we meditate on the ministry of the laity in equipping the church, in equipping the new generation, I would want to draw a few insights from
from Psalm 23. The first and foremost ministry is affirming trust in the Lord. A generation is growing up. A generation is fading away. Amidst all this, faith in God is being clearly affected. A withdrawal from mainline religious life is happening in several parts of the world. It is here the proclamation of the lay people. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want becomes important. Generations could, should realize that there is somebody who is willing to travel beside us, who knows us by name, calls us out, brings us out, walks with us into pastures green, who ensures that we are properly fed. We have enough water. When we fall into crevices, we are taken back. We are guided, navigated, protected, shielded. The Lord is my shepherd, and therefore I shall not want. We need the new generations to grow in this affirmation that God is my shepherd. Friends, the primary ministry of the laity is to live out this faith and to help generations next to grow in that faith. Be examples, epitomes of trust in the Lord. The second aspect of the ministry of the laity is to be beacons of hope in this world that is losing its essence of hope everywhere. We hear about contexts where people are trying to look at hopelessness as a paradigm of resistance because they do not see a glimmer of hope anywhere around. But David the psalmist, the layman says, the Lord leads me in pastures green. He leads me into quiet waters. He restores my soul. Friends, whatever be life's situations, however parching or parched the context is, the hope is that the Lord leads us to greener pastures. The present moments of difficulties and tears would go away. The present moments of pain, agony, anguish, war will go away. Greener pastures, better tomorrow, a better future is waiting. And that is hope. Waters could be turbulent now, turbulent to the extent that people do not really understand how to navigate the way forward. But the assurance is, he is able to still the waters. Sometimes my soul is so broken, my spirit is so broken. The Lord is able to restore my soul, renew my soul, rebuild my soul. New beginning is possible. The ministry of the laity, therefore, is to be champions of hope in a world of hopelessness. In a, to be champions of Trust in the Lord and hope in the Lord when situations go difficult around us. To be champions of assurance that any turbulence cannot but be calmed. Assurance that however broken our souls are, the Lord is able to restore our souls. Champions of hope. That is the ministry of the laity. And we need that ministry so strongly proclaimed today. The third aspect of this psalm, when we think about the ministry of the laity, I would say is faith. The psalmist is saying, yes, though I have to walk through valley of darkness, I will fear no evil. The Lord, he is the one who is beside me, walking beside me. His rod 
and your staff. They will comfort me. Friends, yes, in life's journey, there is darkness. In life's journey, we might need to walk through valleys of darkness. But faith in the Lord enables us to pass through those difficult situations fearlessly, faithfully. With the psalmist, we should be able to say, A, though I walk through valleys of darkness, I will fear no evil, because the Lord who is beside me, his rod and his staff, they will comfort me. Faith in the comforting presence of the Lord. Faith in the presence of the Lord that does not necessarily always change darkness, but gives us strength to walk through valleys of darkness. The one who stays beside, the one who walks beside, and the one who sometimes carries us through. Friends, not only in situations of war and violence, but in several places around us, people are living in turbulence. People are living in pain. People are living in brokenness. People are living in agony. And the ministry of the laity is to reach out to them. Reach out to them with a message that, yeah, though we walk through valleys of darkness, the rod and the staff of the Lord comforts us, assuring the comforting presence of the Lord, calling for faith in the transforming presence of the Lord. Fourthly, in this particular text, we read the transforming confidence in the Lord. He prepares a table for me in front of my enemies. But beyond that, this particular psalm reminds us of the anointing of the Lord. Sometimes we think anointing is for privileged people. Anointing is for few people. Anointing is for special people. And here the psalmist says, he anoints my head with oil. Perhaps he recollects the day Samuel came to the house of Jesse with the message that the Lord has chosen the next king from that home. Well-built, the elder ones came. It was not in them that the Lord pleased. And when David came, David was seen. What the prophet does is anointing him with oil. Prince, the ministry of the laity is to strengthen people who go through situations of insignificance. They think life sometimes is difficult meaningless. But the message that David gives is very simple. It just takes a moment for the Lord to pick you out, to anoint you, to transform you, to change you to mighty works of the Lord. And finally, it is confidence in the Lord. See how David, the layperson, the psalmist concludes the psalm. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That is confidence. Whatever be life's situation, whatever be the turbulence, whatever be the pain, whatever be the difficulty, whatever be the sickness we go through, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me not in a few days, all the days, all the days of my life. And the confidence, I will dwell ultimately in the house of the Lord forever. Even death cannot separate us from the love of God. We will live in the house of the Lord forever. The ministry of the laity is therefore to affirm trust in the Lord to a generation 
that is losing this trust. To affirm hope in the Lord to a generation which is falling back into hopelessness. To affirm faith in the Lord to a generation where faith is become an aberration of the mind. Affirming the anointing of the Lord in a generation where this transforming power of the Lord is underestimated and affirming confidence in the Lord that surely goodness and mercy will follow us, not only all the days of our life, but we will live in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for reminding us the ministry of the laity, the ministry to affirm trust in the Lord, ministry to affirm hope in the Lord, ministry to affirm faith in the Lord, ministry to affirm anointing of the Lord, ministry to affirm confidence in the Lord. Help us do this ministry in the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now have a closing hymn. we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each one of us now and forevermore. 
Mensch.